IIT Jam Physics JTP 2017 question number 24 in this question a thin long insulated coated conducting wire carrying current I is given to us it is now moved once around an insulating thin disk of radius capital R to bring the wire back on the same side as shown in the figure the magnetic flux at the center of at the center of the disk is what we have been asked to calculate now we know that magnetic field at the center of the disk will be equal to b equals to mu naught i upon 4 pi r plus mu naught i upon 2 r plus half mu naught i upon 2 r plus mu naught i upon 4 pi r that is the magnetic fields because of the two straight wires the conducting disk and the half wire on the same side present on the in between the two parallel wires now if we simplify the magnetic field we will get b equals to 3 by 2 mu naught i upon 2 r plus 2 mu naught i upon 4 pi r and further we will get mu naught i upon 4 r bracket 3 plus 2 upon 5 so the correct answer here will be option b mcq question number 26 in this question we are given an inertial frame as dash moving at speed c by 2 away from another inertial frame as along the common x x dash axis where c is the speed of light as observed from s dash a particle is moving with speed c by 2 in the widest direction as shown in figure in this question, we have to find out the speed of the particle as seen from as days is. So, according to special theory of relativity, the velocity of particle along to x-axis in the moving frame of reference is vx days equals to vx minus v upon 1 minus v vx upon c square, where Vx is the velocity of particle in the rest frame of reference and V is the velocity of moving reference uh, sorry moving frame of reference with respect to the rest frame of reference. Then Vx days equals to 0 minus minus C by 2 upon 1 minus minus C by 2 upon C square into 0 that is equals to C by 2 that implies Vx days equals to C by 2. Similarly, the velocity of particle along to y-axis in the moving frame of reference that is vy dash equals to vy square root of 1 minus v square upon c square upon 1 minus v vx upon c square where vy is the velocity of the particle in the rest frame of reference. So, Vy dash equals to C by 2 root of 1 minus 1 by 4 upon 1 minus minus C by 2 into 0 upon C square. That is equals to root 3 by 3 upon 4 C. So, Vy dash equals to root of 3 upon 4 into C. Now, the net resultant velocity V equals to square root of Vx dash square plus Vy dash square by putting the value of vx days and vy days we will get net velocity v equals to root 7 upon 4 into c option iit jam physics jtp 2017 net question number 5 in this question an unpolarized light of intensity i naught passes through a polarizer p1 the light coming out of polarizer falls on a quarter wave plate with its optical axis at 45 degree with respect to the polarization axis of P1 then passes through another polarizer P2 with its polarization axis perpendicular to that of P1 the intensity of the light coming out of P2 is I and we have been asked to calculate the ratio of I0 and I now as we can see that the unpolarized light first passed through a polarizer so its intensity will become I0 by 2 it is further passed through a quarter wave plate which is at an angle of 45 degree so in this case the intensity coming out of the quarter wave plate can be calculated according to Mallet's law 
and it will be i equals to i naught by 2 cos square 45 now it is further been passed through a polarizer p2 which is having an axis perpendicular to that of p1 so polarizer is basically at an angle of 45 degree with that of the quarter wave plate so the final intensity that we will get will be equal to i naught by 2 cos square 45 into cos square 45 which will be equal to i equals to i naught by 4 and this ratio of i naught by i will be equal to 4 so the correct answer here will be 4 iit jam physics jtp 2017 nat question number 7 in this question an intensity versus distance curve for a double slit diffraction experiment is shown in the figure if the width of each of the slit is 0.7 micrometer what is the separation between the two slits in micrometer now as we can see by the graph given to us that fifth order of pattern is missing from the figure so e sin theta equals to lambda as we know that it is the condition and e plus d sin theta equals to 5 lambda as fifth order of pattern is missing if we find the ratio of e plus d and e we will get e plus d upon e equals to 5 if we further to simplify this equation we will get e plus d equals to 5 times e as the value of e is given to us we can calculate 5 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 3.5 so the correct answer here will be 3.5. IIT Jam Physics JTP 2017 NAT question number 8. In this question, an anti-reflection film coating of thickness 0.1 micrometer is to be deposited on a glass plate for normal incidence of light of wavelength 0.5 micrometer. Now we have been asked to calculate that what should be the refractive index of the film. As we know that the path difference because of the anti-reflection film will be equal to 2 mu t which is equal to lambda by 2 we have the value of thickness t as 0 0.1 and we have the value of lambda as 0 0.5 both are in same units that is micrometer so we can calculate the refractive index here as 2 mu t equals to 1 point that is lambda equals to 0 0.5 divided by 2 so we will get our effective index as 1.25